Hello guys, this is Becca, and it's time we find out some information about some of, one of my babies. If you watched my video this morning, I'm sorry about that guys, I tried so hard to get that video up last night. My internet just was not cooperating, and it was this morning before I finally got that video up. So... Anyway, uh, those of you on Facebook that I uh, put a picture of my babies and told you that the video would be up shortly, I'm sorry about that, but you're welcome to go watch it now. But anyway, I have found out a little bit of information about my babies. I worked a good while yesterday on doing the research on them, those papers that was in the big envelope. Uh, I have papers on uh, three of the babies, and then three of them I don't. But I, I tried to do research on, on all of them by going by... Most of them has... Matter of fact, I think all but one has names on the back of their neck. So this baby is RDK Lorenzo slash M period. Then it has May slash 250. Now I googled all of that. And what I came up with is that this is a, a preemie reborn made by Marissa May. He is a limited edition or... I said very, it said on it, the internet, very rare Lorenzo, that only 300 was made of him, and he is number 250 because of the number on the back of his neck, it says he's number 250. So, uh, I forgot to write down the year, I'm thinking it's like 2008 somewhere along there I'm thinking it's before 2010 but I, I can't remember for sure I forgot to write down the date I'm gonna look it back up and write down the date of when um, this sculpt first came out um, so I will have an idea so he is an older baby all of them that I have are older babies apparently uh, she started um, Amanda started, that's the lady I purchased or adopted them from, I like to say. Apparently, she started collecting reborns back uh, around 2006, 2008, something like that. And uh, apparently just quit collecting or just, I don't know, just didn't buy any more or something. Lost interest in it or something. Anyway, they are all, six of them are older babies which is fine by me. Um, I still feel like I got a good deal on them, even though they're older babies, because the vinyl and the bodies are excellent. Now, them being as old as they are, there are places on their head that their hair is coming out. The only thing, and I'm going to be totally open and honest with you guys, in case Amanda you know, happens to see this video. I am a little disappointed about this, that she did not tell me that, you know, she only gave me pictures of the front and sides of them. So I did not know the hair was coming out of at least three of them. The hair is coming out. Now, one of them is painted hair, so, you know, it's fine. The other five has hair, and at least three of those has the hair coming out. Which is a little disappointing to me that she didn't tell me. Which still, I still feel like, it, even in all that, I feel like that the babies was worth what I paid for them. If all of his hair falls out, I can either have it rerouted or I can um, buy a little wig and put on it. Or I can just leave him bald if the, if the rooted places don't show too bad. Looks like they might show kind of bad, so uh, where the needle was stuck in to rooting. So I'd probably either 
I'd probably either have him rerouted or uh, put buy a little wig to put on him, glue on him. But even in all of that, uh, he cleaned up really well. They all uh, are very dusty. Uh, like I said, she must have just set them on a shelf or somewhere on the bed or somewhere and didn't fool with them uh, like I do. To me, they're my babies. <laughs> to me, they're my babies. I'm going to go ahead and be changing his clothes, getting him ready for the day. I did manage to get him cleaned up. What I did was I stripped every one of the babies completely down to their cloth bodies and vinyl. Um, I wanted everything fresh on them, so I threw away the diapers they had on. No offense, Amanda, if you see this video, I just wanted to start fresh. Um, I um, washed their clothes, the clothes that were in the bag, if you've seen that video, and the clothes that they had on. Uh, I washed all their clothes, and uh, he was the only one I got around to cleaning up. I gave him a good bath. I ran some water in the sink and put some uh, baby soap, Johnson's baby soap in it. And uh, I cleaned his vinyl parts really, really good. I uh, even got a toothpick out and got into the little crevices that I couldn't reach with the rag. Um, I even washed his hair because I thought, hey, it's coming out anyway. You know, how much more can I damage it? Um, so I wet it real good. I didn't stick his head under the water or just cover his head in water. I wet the rag, you know, pretty soaking and put a few of the bubbles from the water, because I put the soap in the water, uh, on the rag, and I, I got his head, you know, washed his head pretty good like that, and then rinsed it out, and rinsed his hair, and it made his hair so soft. I, I wished he, his hair wasn't coming out, because it just made his hair so soft and shiny and so pretty. I really do love him. And like I said, the kit name is Lorenzo, and I'm going to leave his name as Lorenzo, but I probably will call him Lenny for short for a pet name. So that's going to be like his nickname. So this is my Lenny. So if I say Lorenzo or Lenny, this is who I'm talking about. He is only 15 inches long. Uh, I measured him. He's only 15 inches long. And preemie clothes is just like my little, I have a 15 inch long um, full body silicone. And preemie clothes are too big. Uh, I have found a place that I can purchase micro preemie. But micro preemie clothes are very expensive. Um, and then there's an Etsy website that uh, a lady can make clothes the size 15 inch size doll clothes um, but she doesn't make a whole lot of the boy clothes I'm going to have to ask her if she can make some more um, so uh, the clothes she makes fits them perfectly and as you can see as far as it not it don't look bad through the shoulders or anything it's just that it's, it's too long for him so what I do for my 15 inch dolls is with the onesies <clears throat> I just simply poke the onesie the the bottom part of it here up into the uh, I don't snap it I just poke it up under there and then turn that flat so you won't see the little snaps and that's the way we do it and it looks fine on him like that it's just that it's too long strad for the 15 inch but whenever you get him get that poked up in there out of the way and turn that over it looks perfectly fine so that's my little Lorenzo or Lenny and like I said he has cleaned up very good he looked dingy after I've cleaned him up he actually look his skin looks like newborn skin it has that little reddish splotchy um, look to it his skin guys uh, the reason another reason I was saying I was disappointed about his hair 
is this is the last one, the one that she said she'd had to have a certain amount for. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, $150 I paid for him. Um, and I had just saw his face. You know, she didn't tell me about his hair. So when I realized that, matter of fact, his hair is the one that's coming out the most. Or it shows the most, I guess, because of the color of it. I was disappointed about that, but even in all of that, guys, you'd have to feel his vinyl. She was telling me she had to have 150 for him because his his vinyl felt like real skin, and it really does. I don't know what kind of vinyl this is, but he just he feels he just he feels so real. Welcome to my channel, guys. You got to hear the dogs every time. They got to have their say. <laughs> and not only does he look and feel real, I, I don't. I can't move the camera where you can see. But when you put him in your arms, he just kind of curls up. He's just. He feels like a real baby in your arms. I love him, guys, even if his hair is coming out. I love him. And, uh, Amanda, if you do see this this video, I'm not saying that any of this to be uh, derogatory or to say I don't like them or to say I, I wish I hadn't got them or, um, you know, to say that I feel like I paid too much for them. I don't. Um, and none of that. I just was a little disappointed that... I didn't know that their hair was coming out. Um, but even in all of that, I love these babies. And like I said, he's the only one I've gotten cleaned up. I'm going to do... I, if you've been around long, very long, you know that I have health issues. I have back trouble. I have, um, I have arthritis terribly. Uh, I just have several health issues. My feet, I don't know if it's gout, if it's arthritis, what it is in my feet, but not only does my back hurt when I stand up long, my feet get hurt so bad I could just boo and cry. So it may take me a while. I'm telling y'all all that to let you know that I'm not able to just get in there and get them all washed up, you know, in one setting. Hush, Lucy. Hush. So it may take me a few days to get them completely, wa you know, all washed up and videos made. Um, like I said, I, I stripped all of them down and I laid them all in my craft room. And one by one, I will get them cleaned up really good and get them ready to share with you. Um, but like I said, you know, they all look dingy from... Over a period of time, you know, dust settling on them. And so, you know, you look at them and you think, oh, did, you know, did I make a mistake? I said hush. Lucy. Lucy. That's enough. Lucy. I am so sorry, guys. She does not mind me. It's my fault, I know. But except for these other two, I can holler at them and they'll hush. But she will not hush. She won't till she gets ready. But she can just hear a big 18-wheeler pass or a motorcycle or a loud car go by or she will bark and bark and bark and will not hush no matter until she gets ready to hush then she'll hush. So I'm really sorry about that. That's just going to be part of my videos. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um like I was saying, they're, they're all really dusty, so they look dingy. They don't look fresh and clean. And um, that is another reason why I want to rotate my dolls and and play with what I call play. Uh, I'll explain to you how I play with my dolls, how I play with them. Um, but I rotate them, and uh, I play with one a day. So that way I can take that dog and change its clothes. I can, uh, you know, wipe it down with a rag or what, wet damp cloth or whatever. 
and then when I, its day's over, it sets up until I make the full rotation to get back to it again. And uh, that way they don't, any of them set up too long at a time just collecting dust. Um, but after I cleaned him up, he had built up of dust in around the curves of his nose, inside the, the nostrils, around the little crevice here at his chin. His ears was full of dust. Uh, his little eyes was full of dust. And like I said, I'm not criticizing that. That's what happens if you just set them on a shelf or on a, you know, in a baby bed or wherever you keep them and don't do anything with them. You know, the, the dust is going to build up on them. So that's why I play with mine, rotate them and play with every doll I have. Except for I do have two dolls that I have in my curio cabinet that are dressed pretty and I don't mess with them. Um, but all of my other dolls, I do rotate them and play with every one. Now, my meaning of playing, uh, I really don't role play that much with my dolls anymore. I have tried it. I purchased the Babysit Me app. Um, some of you probably know about it. Some of you may not. It's an app you can get on your phone. And um, it's, it's a role play that you do with your dolls. And it will, every so often, the baby will cry or the app with, will cry and then it'll pop up on your screen what is wrong with it. It has different cries for different things that's wrong with it. And uh, it goes for a 24 hour period and, and it will just continue if you just leave it on. Um, but it has different, it has like uh, two different settings and then on both of those settings it has uh, three different um mix up of the cries because it's not just the same thing every day at the same time so um if you're interested in that just go on your phone and look up babysit me app and um what it does is every so often the app will cry and um uh, have the crying sound and you look on your screen and tell you if, if um it's had a, a diaper explosion that's when you've got to change everything you know, clothes and everything, or if it just needs a, a nappy change, that's what they, it's from uh, the UK, the app is from the UK, a lady in the UK made it, so they call it nappy change, it'll tell you if they need um, cuddles, it'll tell you if they're hungry, need a bottle, uh, if they need to burp, uh, if they've got uh, air on their stomach, you know, it's different cries for different things that a baby would need. And it's, it's demanding like a baby, um, you know, if you go by the app. So you'll be busy doing something and all of a sudden the app will go off and you'll have, if you're going to go by the app and actually role play and treat it like a baby using the app, then you stop what you're doing and you take care of the baby. Well, I'm too old. Uh, I don't want that kind of baby. Like I said, I have used the app quite a bit when I first got it. But that is just really not for me. Now, I'm not going to delete the app. I'm going to keep it in case one day I wake up and say, hey, I want to do role play today. I will turn it on and do role play. But the majority of the time, all I do with my babies is, like I said, I rotate them. So, uh, like tonight, whatever baby I'm going to play with tomorrow, so they're all dressed in like day clothes, What you know, what you would put them on for during the day. Um, so tonight, whatever doll I'm going to play with tomorrow, I will go ahead and change it into a sleeper and uh, set it in the uh, little rocker here, in the, the baby rocker here in the uh, living room. And then when I go to bed, I'll take it and lay it in the baby bed. Then the next morning, that's the doll that I play with, that I play with. So what I do is when I get up, I usually bring it back in here with me in the living room, lay it in the little baby rocker, go about my day, get my coffee, sit, do whatever I want to do. Then when I get around where I'm filling up to fooling with the doll, I will pick it up, take it, and either do a video with it if I'm going to do a video that day, but even if I don't do a video, I'll change it into the clothes it's going to wear for that day. And, you know, something that I, something pretty that I want to leave it in at, you know, it's time of setting, waiting to rotate back around to it. 
Um, all of my babies has a designated spot. I haven't found designated spots for these new ones yet. I'm running out of space, but I'm going to find somewhere to put them. But I have some in the living room, and all the other of them are in my bedroom. But I am running out of spots for them. <laughs> but, um, like last night, I took him, after getting him cleaned up, I put it on the little sleeper that he had on. you seen he had on the little sleeper, and that's what he slept in. So this morning, I'm on the video, I'm doing a video of him, so I'm changing him into his day clothes. And then all day today, he will be the baby I play with. And what I mean by play, I don't have the app on, but if I have a minute to sit down and want to cuddle with him, I will get him and cuddle with him. Um, when you're using the app, you play like you're feeding them, you do the whole works, you know, change their diaper all through the day and all that. I, once I got him cleaned up like I did last night, his this diaper probably won't come off of him for quite a while until I feel like that, you know, I might need it, you know, it wearing for me changing clothes. So he'll keep this particular diaper on for quite a while before I change it because I don't act like I'm changing them as far as like, like he pooped his diaper uh, or anything like that. I just have a diaper on him on them. Um, I do put a little white onesie or a white t-shirt on them first. That's because as I change them, I leave that onesie on them. Now, if I feel like it's getting too dirty, I'll change it, you know, put a clean one on them. But I leave that on to protect their cloth bodies because I use a lot of lotion and touching it and handling it. You know, you can wipe down the vital, vinyl, but it's going to be kind of hard to clean the cloth body. So I keep it covered up with the white onesie or white t-shirt to protect it and keep it clean. So I will, you know, do with him today what I call play and I will snuggle with him all day, you know, at different times during the day when I sit down. Then... I'll leave this little onesie on him. I think it's really cute. I will leave this on him until his next go round. I will find when I find where I'm going to keep him. Um, I will place him where I'm going to, you know, his place of, of where he'll stay. And that's where he'll stay until I rotate through my other dolls and get back to him. And that's the way that I that's what I call role play. Okay, so then tonight, uh, after supper, when we get through with supper around 6 o'clock tonight, I will take, you know, find out, I, I kind of go over, you know, I rotate them, so I go see who's next, and uh, I'll take that baby, change it out of its day clothes that it's in, put it in a sleeper, put it here in the rocker. I leave that rocker for the the baby at night to sit in here with us. It'll sit in the rocker with the, in here in the living room with us till we go to bed. And then tomorrow morning, I would do the same thing. I would change it out of the sleeper or night clothes gown, whatever it has on, and put it in its day clothes and snuggle with it uh, throughout tomorrow until six o'clock tomorrow evening. I'll put it up in its designated place and get another baby. And that way I can through the time, I'm, I'm fooling with them. I can wipe its face down, you know, its final down, and keep the dust from just building up, but yet I'm having time to bond with each of my babies. And so I don't actually, I don't act like I'm feeding them or changing them as far as, you know, like if they messed up their diaper or something. I just keep them in clean clothes, change them from sleeper to day clothes, and uh, snuggle with them. So that's my type of playing with my dolls. But I love my dolls. I love snuggling with them. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's therapy for me. I love them. Uh, I don't, I don't have a lot of people, especially during this pandemic, we don't have people coming in much. And I don't know, it just, it feels good to pick up a doll and it feel like a real baby in your arms. And you snuggle it. And I do talk to them and kiss them. I do do that. Um, I will talk to them and kiss them and snuggle them and hug them. But uh, as far as like playing like I'm feeding them or... Uh, I, I've done that. Yes, I've done that. Uh, I've been collecting for uh, two years now. And 
yeah, two years now, I believe it is. And um, I do, I, I have played like I fed them. I have played, you know, with the app, followed the app and different things, but I have found my joy is not to do the role play in that manner, but just to change them into sleepers at night, whichever one's gonna be for the next day. The next morning, change them into their day clothes, snuggle them and hug them throughout the day and put them back away and rotate. And that way I can have time with every baby and bond with every baby. So I know this is a long video, sorry, but I, it being new babies, I just wanted to explain to you some things. Um, so this here is Lenny, look the Lorenzo kit. Um, he is number 250 out of 300 dolls that were made, and that was all that were made. And um, so I'm excited. I'm very excited about my babies. I'm excited about getting the others cleaned up and sharing them with you. But like I said, it may take me a couple of days to get them all cleaned up. But anyway, uh, I don't know. I may have two, three, one. There may be a day I don't have any. It's according to how my health is, how I'm, you know, my body's holding up under all the activity and everything. But um, you never know. I may have two to three videos up a day. So come back often and check and see what my other babies are. All right, I'm going to get off of here so I can go lay him down and get started on cleaning up another one. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed my little chat with you. I know it's a long video, but maybe the next one won't be quite so long. But I will talk with you all later. Have a great day. Bye.